activity we haven't been to before. We are going to an overlanding expo. So this should be awesome. Since we've started doing the overlanding in the Hummer, we've been looking at things, different kinds of stuff that, you know, we could possibly use during an overlanding trip. Mostly him, but, you know, every once in a while I get interested. This is supposed to be the biggest in the Midwest. This is the more Expo. Is it just more Expo? Is it more Overlanding Expo? I don't know. I think they do one in Kansas too, but I don't remember the dates of it. June. Okay, so it's in June. Anyway, we're hoping that we can do a little bit of videoing inside this and kind of show you some of the stuff that you might expect to see if you was planning or wanting to attend one of these expos. And hopefully we can find some stuff that, well, that we won't spend any money on. everybody there from Ozark Overland Adventures checking out the pink jeep I love the pink jeep bed's pretty small. I like this one. This one is, this one's pretty cool. I, we had, we, that would be like a Darby space under there. Yeah, that would work out really good. Jesse's getting information. It's kind of a neat little utility rig. They made it really simple. So if you get hungry, you can go grab some fazolis. If you get where you need an alcoholic drink, you can hit the bar. <laughs> and I'm assuming that they're gonna have some kind of live music or something later. Look, they even have like soft chair seating and they call it the recovery room lounge. That's kind of cool though, that they have that for people. I might have to hit the bar later. <laughs> There's another YouTube channel that's here. We've watched his videos. He's actually standing like right over there. He's a little busy, so we didn't interrupt to meet him, but it's cool to see people that you watch on YouTube. So I like this one. I like this video. You guys are welcome to get inside, check it out, whatever you want to do. Alright, thank you. Oh, guys, guys, come in here. Spice rack. I wouldn't do the rooftop tent. I would just fold the seats down and sleep inside. So what? What is this van? What? It's because it's smaller. It's not huge. I don't know what it is. A lot of cargo area up there. Like a party deck on the top. It's a Mercedes. Ah, uh, like the. You could make that a party deck. Yeah. And so 230 is a pretty popular overlanding brand, and they have a booth here with a lot of their goodies. <laughs> Thank you. 
You can even get fancy brake discs and stuff while you're here. Fancy wheels. Of course, most of these booth vendors have some kind of special show discount. I've seen the little Omnia oven that Gina at Van Life with Gina uses all the time. They're doing a little bit of a, a sale deal. I don't know what's in here. I might have to sneak in there and see what's going on. Okay, this is awesome. Things a beast. I mean, look how tall it is. Stand next to it. <laughs> I think they're. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I told the people we're in Springfield, Missouri. Well, that's where the expo is. It's actually three days. started Friday and then today Saturday and then it goes for a little while tomorrow on Sunday so it's actually a three-day event tickets are like $25 a person of course that could change with I'm assuming any show okay so we're the Russos is here and I'm not gonna like point them out because I think that's kind of rude. But if you know the channel, you're gonna know who they are just when I pan by. And it's kind of cool because they're a really big YouTube channel. So it's really neat that they're here and spending time with people like this. Okay, so we met half of the where the russos she was so nice and she's like hey go get a couple of those water bottle holder things and they magnetize yeah koozies they magnetize to your vehicle grab a t-shirt get a breakfast burrito and a donut and coffee and so i had a hertz donut a fruity pebbles one <gasps> black rifle coffee company oh no i gotta I might have to grab some of this. That's my favorite coffee ever. Ever! So, I think it's pretty genius to have some dog gear at an overlanding expo. And as far as I know, that was the only one that had anything dog stuff. People take their dogs overlanding. I don't know what we got here. So I stopped over there at the Overland Spices. Following, I've been following them on uh, Instagram for a little while, so it was kind of cool. Well, not a little while. I'm recently, I guess. But it was pretty cool to run across them here, and I got some cool spices, and they were doing a special deal. Because if you're overlanding, you have to have squatch stuff, right? And there's some more food. What's that say? Springer Mountain Farms Fresh Chicken. I don't know, that's just kind of like the fairgrounds, I think. Um, it's not like, yeah, a concession, thanks. And then there's a tiki hut. And you can add a shot of rum for two bucks, double shot for four. <laughs> there was a lot more campers here than I kind of expected to see. I was hoping more for 
like the booths with stuff, I guess. Kind of like that one over there. I mean, it's neat to see the different campers, but that's not really what I came for. So I was, I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, I'm like a kid in the candy shop. I know. I've never actually heard of this one. And then I don't even know why somebody would need a mini keg when they go over landing. I'm not sure what that's for. Oh. Now the spices thing, that's pretty cool. And I think that's the only recreation park that is here. And they're in Kansas. We have some in Missouri. I don't know why they're not here. And then we had like this... What was that pine? Oh, oh yeah, yes. the there's a rendezvous in the Ozarks. That's in Arkansas. Yep. This big elk. So I don't know. We might look into that one because we were wanting to do some kayaking this this summer, anyways. And they uh, shuttle your vehicle for you, so that's kind of cool. Jeep, 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 Hummer, Jeep. <laughs> Obviously, we did not film everything in there because, first of all, when you get busy looking at stuff, you don't always think to turn the camera on. That, and, you know, I'm not going to throw a camera in the faces of, you know, the other YouTube channels that were here. But it was really cool to be able to meet uh, Where the Russos and uh, Ozark Overland Adventures um, but just because we watched their stuff. So it's really cool to meet meet the channels that you've been watching for a while and you know, it's sort of like meeting celebrities or something. So that was really cool. I personally would have liked more booths of stuff. Um, you know, just like overlanding gear and stuff, but there was a lot of campers, but the, I mean, the campers were cool and I wanted to see some, but it's just, there was a lot of them. And I mean, once you see the first four or five, you know, the rest are kind of like, well, you know, there's this little difference with this one, but you know, whatever. I think he had a good time. And so, you know, that's kind of more the reason we came anyway. If not for him, I wouldn't have come by myself, most likely. Um, but I did get some cool spices, like I said, and I'm sure I'll be using those mostly on my cooking channel, Happy Place Cooking. I might take them with me and use them on the road, but I don't tend to remember to take spices with me and I don't leave them in the camper or the Hummer. So, you know, I don't know. But anyway, that was uh, Overland Spices, right? Mm -hmm. And they're on like Instagram and uh, did he say Facebook? Maybe Facebook yeah, too. So. I can't remember. I, I can try to remember to put a link in the description below when I upload the video so you can go check them out. But anyway, I think we're going to go see about finding some lunch. And just so you know, I did not hit the tiki bar or the regular bar while we were in there. It's a little early yet. Yeah, but I had to drag you away less than a minute. 